walked away very luckily. And that was thanks to his own quick actions. An Urbana man is recovering after he says three teenagers tried to force their way into his house. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Roscoe. One teenager is in the hospital and two are in custody. This all happened last night on East Pennsylvania Avenue near Maple Street. WCI3's Courtney Bunting has the story. A normal night at John O'Brien's home quickly turned into what seemed like a fight for his life. A female came to the door asking, can I borrow your phone? I live two blocks away. O'Brien said no. He tried to close and lock the door when he saw another teenager coming around the corner with a gun. They kicked open the door and sprayed mace in my eyes. And luckily for me, uh, it got in his eyes as well as he came through the door. With mace in his eyes, the 15-year-old with the gun turned his back to O'Brien. I slapped the gun out of his hand, wrestled it away from him. The two wrestled for a few minutes. Until I was able to get his backside and put him in a chokehold. Uh, and I kept him there until he what passed out. We found the resident um, still uh, holding the suspect's hands behind his back. Police say this is an all too common occurrence when a gun gets into the wrong hands, specifically the hands of teenagers. So I would say that it is very problematic and I don't know what the answer is. Police say the 15 year old was sent to the hospital in critical condition. O'Brien only sprained his ankle and had a few bruises. He says his four years in the Marine Corps prepared him for that moment. And he remembers exactly what he was thinking when he made the choice to fight. I don't want this to be me. I don't want this to be the end of my story. So I'm going to fight for what I got. In Urbana, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. The 13-year-old boy and 16-year-old girl are in the Champaign County Juvenile Detention Center. Police say the gun that was found wasn't loaded. We have new